Welcome to Mexico 2010 for Piedmont Community Church. We're here in uh, the outskirts of Tijuana, Mexico. Um, we've just traveled down a couple of days ago. We had the wonderful border experience. It's getting tougher to get across that border, but we're, we're persevering. We're down here with 210 high school kids, most of them from Piedmont High School, a couple from surrounding high schools. We have uh, 32 adult leaders leading teams, 13 cooks, and five at large people making this trip happen. It's quite a menagerie, but we have a ton of vehicles that makes this huge caravan down the highway, taking us to camp. Three or four days ago, there were families that were living in really destitute places, a lean-to, a car, a couch out in the middle of nowhere. And now, in two days time, they're gonna have a front door that locks, two windows that keep the weather out, a roof that's secure, and a safe place for them to be and we hand mix concrete to pour an 11 by 22 slab. It sits in a place that's gonna be safe and secure, and then we frame up a house, very much like the one right here. Then it gets baling wire and tar paper and chicken wire, and then stucco on the walls with windows that lock and a front door. And then the ceiling, the roof has tar paper and, and it's waterproof and keeps the weather out. And what that does is just starts to change the lives of the families that we work for. You know, every week that we come down here each year, we have a theme that we have talks every night at campfire. Most of them are from scripture, others just motivational to, to get the team working together. Well, our theme this week was Lean On Me, much like that old song that we all know the words to. Lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be there when you need a friend. And we've talked about how we lean on each other a lot. Not only here in Mexico, but at home with our friendships and everything else. But we've also talked about how the people here really need someone to lean on and we're trying to be that person with skin on here for them today. And then also, we need these people because we're finding that we're being taught more about ourselves than we ever thought we would be taught by some people in Mexico that are so much in need. And then finally, we've been focusing in the evenings too about what it would be like to have this amazing, unwavering place to go to that you could lean on and five, unconditional love, and that place is in our Heavenly Father and through His Son, Jesus Christ. week is about um, working with the people down here in Mexico. Both my experiences, the two years I've come down here, I've just met amazing people who are incredibly hardworking, incredibly gracious, incredibly kind, and for just helping them out and, and giving them anything that I, a privileged person such as myself, can give them is amazing, and it's one of the most satisfying things I, I do. Uh, this week is all about like, building a good house. Like, you, you come out, and you lay down your slab and you like getting up your walls and stuff and you're just thinking like I want to make this the best house I can make it. It's kind of like 
That in itself is just like a personal accomplishment. Like I want my house to be the best I can make it. So like I'm gonna do all I can to make the house like perfect for the family and also for like my state of mind. Like I want to be able to leave here and say like I built a really good house. Like they have four walls and a roof and they're not gonna leak and it's not gonna be holes for air and stuff. And like I'm gonna build them their new life. Like all the stress that teachers and parents put on you and come out here and not only do you get to hang out with like friends but you get to make new friends and you just you just get to do something that you don't really do every day and I don't want to say like make a difference but you definitely have an impact on people that you wouldn't think you'd have an impact on. Great, look at this beautiful house we built. Who would have guessed that I would have been associated with anything this productive? <laughs> oh, tri-tip. Tri-tip last Easy. night? Oh, I would, mm. Do you have any, you want to give a shout out to the cooks? Oh, shout out cooks from last year and this year, holla. Just, just burgers, I mean like, burger in it, just hot dogging it up. Hot Over dogging there. it up. Just film right there for a second. Look at that sweet burger hot dog action. Burger and ma'am. My husband Scott and I founded this ministry 30 years ago and on behalf of all of us at Amore we want to thank the Piedmont community for their support of our ministry over all these years. Well you actually have somebody in your church who knows probably just as much about Amore as I do, Bill McNabb, who was with us way before we started and I actually met him before I met him at an orphanage here in Tijuana and it was with his vision and the vision of some others that we were able to start this ministry where we were bringing groups from all over the United States and now Canada and all over the world and so what started is kind of a little drawing on a piece of paper in a restaurant in Rosarito Beach um, became this thing and Bill you know I have to say hello to you Scott and I love you we thank you for the support you've given us and that at every community that you've been a part of you've drawn in and so so on, you know, we just love that Piedmont's a part of this. We can't tell you how much we appreciate your support during these times where people are concerned about coming to Mexico. We want you to know a couple of things. Number one, we've never compromised the safety of your students. And so everything that we've done has been very well thought out. And we thank you for trusting us and believing us, knowing that we do our very, very best to make sure that we minimize any potential risk to those that are participating. And I just thank you for having the courage to come and walk with us on this journey and continue building homes for the poor. No, like for, especially for my family. I come in here to visit it, but you know, like I see like everything changed right now. Mm -hmm. It's really good and I want to say thank you to them, you know, because they're working really hard. I'm walking through the bright white gates Breathing in and out your grace all around me melodies rise that echo. 
So that's why we do this. Thanks for supporting us. And I tell you what, you don't have to come on this trip to be a big part of it. A lot of you guys have donated things for our garage sale. You've supported people by buying stock. You've sent your children in a place that you weren't sure about. God has protected us and will continue to do that. So thanks for participating and being a part of Mexico 2010. When I'm singing for you, my God. With the thunder roll and a brilliant light, your glory burst and the heavens shine. Saints and angels stand. I can't hold